everyone what's up welcome back to our youtube channel i hope you guys are doing amazing and i am also doing really good so today as you can see there's this gigantic red bus standing in front of us it is waiting for us so that we can hop onto it and then vroom vroom the bus is gonna leave okay anyway so today um this this is a special bus for sweden so my dad is going to sell in as you can see it's already written on the bus and he's not going by himself or anything like the off it's like an office trip so he's going with his other colleagues from his office so you guys probably haven't heard of that name before because i haven't either so salen is apparently a place which is next to sweden okay not next to but like like it's a bit up to the north but it's kind of like next to if you know what i mean but apparently this bus is going to go in like shortcut roads so that it takes less time to go to Sellen. Apparently it will take like only three to four hours to reach Sellen with this bus. While the average time with like train and like other stuff it's like seven to eight hours, it's gonna take only like three to four hours. So that is extremely good for my dad because he's like living happily. And as you can see, he has already gotten on the bus and it's like so aesthetic because today the weather is also good. As you can see in the sky, it's like gray clouds, which means it's gonna rain in like any second, but it is sunny, which I mean, it feels good at least and it looks good. So he has gotten on the bus and now he is on his way to Selim. And um, I heard that he would stay there for like three days yeah like three two or three days basically and he would do like different activities which are assigned from his office he would do it with his colleagues and everything so that is incredibly good for him because he's getting some free time off of office because he was having a lot of stressful times but that's okay my dad is gonna live happily now since he's going on a trip with his colleagues so right now as you can see like we're going we're gonna go in the short shortcut way, so yeah. And here we are. You can actually kind of like realize that we're more in like the village area than like the city area because in cities there are like more shops and there are like less trees and forests. Because as you can see here, it's like tons of forests and everything. So you can probably understand a bit that we have gone into like the village area. So yeah. And um, I've heard that Selen is also like a pretty quiet place. Like no wonder why no one really knows that name. Like no hate, but like it's such a, it's a small area, but it's very peaceful. There's like only like, I'm not even joking, but like only like 100 people like maximum who live there. Like the maximum population of that place is like 100 people. Like, it's really tiny, but it's also very peaceful. So, yeah. But the sad thing is that there aren't, like, many shops or anything. So, if you if you want to eat, like, something, like, spicy, like, chips or something, then you can't get it. Because it's... Because, like, there are, like, no shops. That's why you can't really get anything, like, spicy or like flavorful or sour or anything so that's the sad part because there's like apparently there's like only two hotels in like the entire city and my dad will go in my dad will go in one of them and if you want to eat something you will only have to eat it from the hotel unless you're like a citizen of that place like you live there permanently you're yeah so that's the sad part for the tourists though so but we don't know yet. Who knows? Maybe there are some shops when we go there. When my dad goes there, basically. Okay, so as you can see, like we're going to like more deeper forests. And Sweden is country covered in forests. Literally, I'm not even joking. They have like tons of conifers and everything, but it looks really pretty. Like at least it's like very nature, which is good for our lungs, our health, our body, our heart. It's good for everything. It's basically good for humans to live here. But um, during the past few years, the population in Sweden has grew. Because before the population was like 10 million, I believe. But now it's probably like 
like 15 mil like 14 or 15 million it's kind of sad because before it was like very empty and everything but now there are like more crowded people so yeah but that's okay we have to accept that we can't really do anything about it so at least sweden is still like very naturey and like yeah okay so um it has been like 30 minutes since we have like started our journey and yeah we are still inside the bus we are gonna be there in like either two and a half hours or three and a half hours who knows and my apologies i keep saying we instead of my dad so my dad will reach there in two and a half hours which is yeah which is nice as you can see this is like a wheat field here's like all the wheat are produ produced and we get like flour from it and bread and everything else basically food we get food from fields wheat and yeah Oh my god, look, it's like, you know, far away, it's like very sunny. It looks so pretty. Oh my god, Sweden is such a pretty country. I love Sweden. Like Everywhere you go, you will see beautiful landscapes. You can see literally the only thing you're seeing right now is like trees. Green and long trees. Tall trees. And then this is like a lake and it's really pretty honestly like literally look how pretty it looks especially when the sun is reflecting on it it looks even more shinier and glossier and yeah so this is like very aesthetic and pretty So just so you know, we've started our, well, my dad has started his journey from like the morning. So right now it's probably like mm, afternoon or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, we're gonna, in our next videos, we are gonna show you guys what my dad did after reaching Salen. So guys, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you guys are the best. Thank you. Have a nice day, y'all.